In this video, we're going to have a look at creating the report for Smart Art Database. Let's have a look at what we've got to do. We need to create a report that shows a list of galleries and their exhibitions. For each gallery, calculate the end date for each exhibition, the total number of exhibitions and the total number of days that exhibitions will run. We need to display a suitable report title, the gallery names, the start date for each exhibition, the end date for each exhibition, the total number of exhibitions for each gallery and the total number of days that exhibitions will run in each gallery. So uh, we've got the calculation there, we've got a start date, we're going to add the number of days to that to get the end date and then at the footer for each gallery we can work out the total number of exhibitions and the total number of days. So the first thing we need to do is a query to organise our data and that makes creating the report an awful lot easier. So let's create the query first. Create query design. We'll put the tables into the query. We need the name of the gallery. We need the number of exhibition days and the start date, which is the TBL exhibition. So we're putting the fields into the query. We need the gallery name. We need the start date, the number of days, and then we can work out the end date. Let's work out the end date in this next column. So right mouse click and build. I'm going to call this end date and then a colon. And we're going to add the exhibition start date to the number of days. And this is an expression. So we need to add the total row to the query and in the total row turn that into an expression. Let's have a look at results. So we've here we've got a list of our galleries, we've got the exhibition start dates, we've got the number of days and if we just check that 3 plus 26 is the 29th, 3 plus the first is the fourth, uh, 4 plus 29, that's gone into the next month. 5 plus 19 is the 24th, so they're correct. Make sure you save your query. Now we can start to actually create the report. So on to create, and we're going to use the report wizard. And we need to select the query that we've just created. So that was query exhibitions, we need all those details into the query. So they're all selected fields. Next, we want to view our data by gallery. So I've just selected the gallery name for the grouping. And then next, next, we can leave all these, make sure it's on portrait. Make sure you use RPT as a prefix for your reports. and then preview the report. Now we've got a very basic report here. A number of things that need changing, the headings, the column headings. And I'm just going to space this out uh, a little bit better in the report. I'm going to take off the banded rows. And then of course we need to put in the totals at the end of each gallery for the total number of exhibitions and the total number of days. Deal with the headings and these banded rows first. So into design view. Change the heading. Just going to change the background of the report header as well. Change the column headings from like field names. All you need to do is put spaces in between the words. 
I'm just going to call this start date because we know it's about exhibitions. And I'll just space this out a little bit better while I'm here. Let's just select the end date. Move that along a bit. Number of days. I want moving on a little bit. Start date and then the gallery name. I'm just going to move on a little bit as well. So it's uh, a bit further in. So the report's going to look nice and balanced across the width of the paper. Okay, the next thing is to take off these banded rows. So when you click in a section of the report, if you come up and you're on format, we've got alternate row greyed out. Let's have a look at the next one. Gallery name is turned black. So we need to turn this into no colour. And then again in the detail section, no colour. And just check the footer. I don't think there usually is all the report footer there, fine. Okay, let's just go and have a look at what we've got. So some improvements there. We've got title which is centred. We've got some better column headings and I've taken off the banded rows. The next thing to do is the calculations at the end of each gallery. So I'm just going to put in a gallery footer. So if we go up to group and sort, we can now see we've got the group sort and total section where we can add the grouping. So we're grouping on gallery name. If we click on the more button, at the moment we've got without a footer section. If we put a footer section in and when we've got no totals, we can total. We want to do a count of start dates and we want to show this in the group footer. Now let's have a look at what we've got. Like we've got two because there's two exhibitions for brand arts. We've got one because there's one exhibition for decadent furniture. We've still got a banded row in there. I'll have to go back and just check that. It's probably because we've put in this total uh, and the group footer. Let's go back now and add up the number of days for each gallery. But before I do that, I'm just going to move this count out of the way because I actually want my number of start dates Number of total number of days to come under this column here. I think it'll look better there. So go into the controls, pick up text box, draw that on. Call that cut total days. And then in the actual control itself, what we're going to do is equal sum and then num days and that will add up all the number of days for each gallery because that's in the gallery footer. We should make sure that's correct. That's it. Okay, let's go and have a look. Oh, before we go and have a look, let's put on um, a label to go with this total here. So up to controls, pick up a label. Uh, this is a total number of exhibitions. OK, let's just check those calculations. Again, I've got total number of exhibitions, two total days. I'm going to move that over and uh, the number needs moving under the number of days as well. And I'm going to do this in layout view. If I click on the control with that totaling, I can just gently move that over. If I click where it says total days, that can come over. And then total number of exhibitions, I think that wants to come in a bit under gallery name and bring the number back. So it's nearer. You might need to narrow that down a bit. There we go. A couple of things while I'm just looking at this before I actually go into some formatting is I'm going to take the box off round total days and get rid of the banded row. I've clicked on that sum, going up to format. 
I'm going to pull this over so you can just see this a little bit better. Shape outline and transparent and that should solve that. And then the other thing was the banded row and it's come on since we put this gallery footer on. So I'm just going to go to format, alternate row, no colour. Okay, let's get rid of the sort and gallery. There we go. And the other thing I'm going to do is a little bit more formatting. So for example, I'm going to turn the headers, the title and the column headers bold. And I'm just going to pull that gallery header name down a bit. And I'm going to put in a line under the footer. So I'm just going to pull that down a bit as well. And then the other thing I'm going to do while I'm here, I'm just going to use blue for my text. I just think it looks a little bit more professional. So all I've done there is select all my controls, go on to format and then select the colour. Don't be over ambitious with your colours. You're better off using a minimal colour palette. You don't have to do a lot of formatting in this uh, report, just some to show that you have carried out some formatting. I'm going to show you how to put these lines in. So if we go to report design, controls, pick up the line, we draw that on. Again, I'll pull this over because I'm just going to go into format, shape outline, pick the colour, again from the same palette, and I'm going to make the line thicker. Once you've created a line, you can copy it and do a paste. They always paste into the top of the section of the report that you've copied from. Just move that on the touch and down. OK, let's have a look at what we've got. Quick recap. We've got a nice professional looking report that's balanced across the width of the page. We've got some headings and column headings which have been emboldened. And then we've got for each gallery a list of the exhibition start dates, the number of days and the calculated end date. And then for each gallery, total number of exhibitions and the total number of days. And that completes our report for Smart Art Database.